Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today, I wanna to show you how to use Google Drive. So I'm gonna start from the basics of Google Drive, but then I wanna give you tips and tricks so you can start using Google Drive more effectively. So let's get started today on Teachers Tech with how to use Google Drive. If you're looking for something specific about Google Drive, take a look down below in the description. This video is timestamped. You can just click on the number, then you can jump to that section, that chapter of the video to save yourself a bit of time. So let's get started here today with the basics. So where do you find Google Drive? Now, first of all, you do need a Google account and I'll show you in a second where you can create one of those if you don't already. Uh, but you can access Google Drive in a few different ways. Now, the way I'm gonna show you first is just by going up to this URL and typing drive.google.com. And then if you hit enter, you will get to this page. And this is where you can uh, choose an account. So I already have an account that I can choose from right here that I can sign into, or I could use another account, or I could even remove account if I want to. But if I click on use account, I could also sign in here or go ahead and create account, an account. So if you don't have an account, you could go ahead, create one here, and then you can get started from there. Now, I'm just gonna log in with my demo one here that I have set up. So you can see my I have no files or anything in here. I'm starting from uh, just from scratch here. And I just wanted to point out too, you can always get to Google Drive through your app launcher too. So the app launcher, the Google app launcher is this. It will show all your Google apps. And you can see Drive is right here. So if you weren't in Drive and you're logged in, you could just simply click on this. Uh, if you, you can move these around too. So if it's something you're using a lot, move it to the top. And when you click on it, it will bring you to Google Drive also. So what is Google Drive? Now Google Drive, what it does is gives you a place to store your files online, so in the cloud. This allows you to access them from any device also. So it could be a mobile, mobile device, maybe a tablet, any computer you log into, you can go and get them. You can create files in here, so whether it be Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms, or more. You can even bring your Microsoft documents into Google Drive now and edit them inside of here. So it's a great place to just be able to access all your information uh, from any device. Now let's get started with some simple uploads. Uploading files can be done a few different ways in Google Drive. Now the first way I'm going to show you is just by going up to the left and clicking this new here. And if I go down you can see that there's file upload. There's also folder upload and I'll show you that in a moment. But I'm going to click on file upload at this point, I'm just gonna to go to desktop. I have a little demo folder here. I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna grab a file. So for this first one, I'm just gonna grab an image right here. So this is just an image. I'm gonna hit open and you can see down in the right hand corner, it's showing me what's happening. Now it's uploaded. I actually even have a preview of this. When I upload these files, if I double click on them, it will give me a preview of what I have in. Now you could go through and you could upload this way just by going file upload. You can also right click. So if I right click on this, you notice I get the options of upload files. So from either from new here, or if you right click over here, you're gonna get the same uh, list from here. Now you can also do this with a folder. So if I go new, and folder upload, I could go back, I'm just gonna go back to my desktop, click on this demo and I could go upload and it says this will up upload everything from this folder. I'm gonna hit upload and you can see now it's telling me how much time is left on it. I can cancel this at any time just by hitting the X on this. You see it says cancel upload. Uh, I am gonna cancel it right now because I wanna show you a different way. So that, that has canceled. If I look into it now, a couple different things went into it, uh, but it didn't finish the whole upload on this. So notice if I go, uh, if I just go back to my drive, I actually have a folder listed here. So if I click this little arrow now, notice that the folder is listed. So this is gonna be part of the organization and I'm gonna talk about more organization later on in this video. I'm just gonna change the size of this here just by my window, just so you can see on the side. The, this was the folder that I just showed you. 
I'm actually going to delete this folder and you can delete in a few different ways. If you click on the folder or even if you click on the image, you're going to get a few different options up top. So if I click off, off, you notice that there's nothing right up here. But as soon as I select something, I have more options and I have the delete or remove right here. Now I can also right click. A lot of times when I'm working with Google Drive, I tend just to right click on objects and down here I have remove. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this and it's gone out of my Google Drive but it's still somewhere because it has 30 days until it's actually deleted forever. And where it is, is in the trash. So if I go to trash right here, you notice it's right here. It says items and trash are deleted forever after 30 days. If I want this back again, I can right click on it and hit restore. And notice if I click on it, the restore is also up top. So all I have to do is go restore and go to my drive and it's back again. So I'm gonna remove this one more time and I just wanna show you a different way you can bring folders or files in. Uh, you can also just drag things over. So I can go to this PDF folder or file and go and drop it in right inside Google Drive and it's gonna upload. It gives me the preview, I can double click on it. Uh, at this point, there's a different video I created that will actually show you how you can edit PDFs like this inside Google Drive. I'll put the link down below in the description up above in the card so you can take a look at that. The other thing I wanted to point out, if I go to this PDF and drag the same one over like this, I, it's ex exactly the same one. Now, what it does, it would copy over it, but if I take a look at the bottom, I can say keep as a separate file. So if you want it as a separate file, if I click on that and you notice now what it does, it creates it as a separate file. So maybe you have something named the same and you've made changes to it and you don't wanna copy over it, just click that. Uh, the other thing is you can drag and drop entire folders just like I showed you before. You can go and, and drop them over and it works the exact same way as hitting the new and the upload like that. So whatever way works quicker for you. I just want to point out if you're uploading videos to this, so I believe in this one folder I do have a video that will be uploaded when it was it, when it's done. Videos can take a little bit of time to be processed. So uh, if I go to this uh, this one right here, I can see this is a video. If I go ahead and double click on it, it might not play right away. So it will, I can, it can say I can download it to watch it and it will download it onto my computer. But if you upload a video and wait a bit and then it processes it, then you'll be able to watch it right from Google Drive, but it does take some time. So I have a tip for you now to even get more out of Google Drive and that's installing the Google Drive extension. So what I mean by this is I have a tab open right here. This is the Google Drive extension and you can just go to the Chrome web store and uh, look for a Google Drive extension. This is what it looks like here. I'm going to add to Chrome and this is going to install this extension uh, in on my Chrome browser here. So it will just take a second and then it's going to pop up open right here. I'm not going to bother turning on sync right now, but what I'm going to do is just pin this. So I'm going to open this up and hit pin so I can see that little Google Drive. So what this allows me to do, and I'm going to use this as an example, uh, this Explore Tulum page. Uh, if I go to this picture and I right click on this, it gives me this option. So when I install the, uh, that app, now I can hit save image to Google Drive. And that's gonna just go ahead and I'll have to pick what account I want it to go to and I have to allow, and then it will go through and save this to Google Drive, just like that. So I'm gonna go back to Google Drive right over here and here is the image that I just saved very quickly from the web. The other thing you can do, so if I go up to, let's say if I was you know, thinking about printing this page, but if I go to File Print, take a look at the option that you have here. So the destination, now I can save to Google Drive. So if I go ahead and print this to Google Drive, this is gonna go over, this image is gonna go over to Google Drive, just like that. So now if I go over to Google Drive and check this out, here it is, it's a PDF of that page right through there as it loads up. So that extension can give you a quick way to put things in your into your Google Drive. 
So now I've shown you how to upload different files to Google Drive. You can also create files within Google Drive. And you can do this in a couple of different ways. Again, uh, going up to the new or right clicking. So if I go to new, you can see the Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and Google Forms right here. If I right click over here, you can see I get the same option of these. So if I wanted to start a Google Doc from here, I could just click here. Notice if you hit this little arrow here, you get a few different uh, options if you want to start from a template or a blank document. If I click on Google Docs, it just gives me a blank document to start like this. So if I just type demo like this and I'm going to go up to here and it automatically gives it a name, I can change the name of this. So if I go uh, out of Google Drive now, so looking at a few different options, I could move this and everything, but I'm just going to go back to my Google Drive here and now I have this untitled uh, one here. So if I just refresh this page, you're going to see it change the the name here. Now, the other thing I just wanted to point out, you can change the name of any of these files to any of the ones you upload. So even this uh, Google Drive demo folder, if I right click on this, take a look at rename. So I can go ahead and rename if I didn't want those zeros there, I could go ahead and delete them out of there and hit OK. I can do this to anything I have in here. I can right click and then all you have to do is look for rename and go ahead and rename the uh, rename the file or folder to it. So if I look at this again, if I go new, I could do this to Google, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms. I have different tutorials on these too. So check out my playlist on Google of all how all of these work. You can also hit more here. So uh, from Google Drawings to My Maps, uh, you could create a website with Google Drive using Google Sites. This is all done for free too. You can see the app script and Jamboard. You can actually even connect to more apps. Uh, so this will connect it to Google Drive. You have to allow them to connect and then you can be opening up different files uh, from these uh, different apps uh, right from your Google Drive. So create a way in here, uh, just create from Google. The other thing that you can do, and I'm just going to change the size of this, just to demo the Word document here. If I drag this Word document over, this is a Microsoft Word, created this in Microsoft Word. You can see the W is here, uh, looks different than the Google Docs here. But if I go ahead and double click on this, you can see that it's going to open it up. It puts it into Google uh, Google Docs and I can edit that Word document inside Google Docs here. Uh, you can see that the dot docs, the extension is still there uh, on it. So you'll be able to work right in here. If someone gives you it, you can you can edit those Microsoft files right in Google Drive. Really quickly, I just want to mention downloading. Uh, you can download anything from your Google Drive. So if it's a single file, you can just right click it on it, just like this image. And you can see that there is a download. You can go ahead and click on it and it will download it to your computer. And once it's done, you can go ahead and click on it and it opens it up on your an app on your computer. Now, if you download a folder like this one, what's going to happen? So you can see uh, I'm going to go to download. I have that option. When I download it, if we look at the bottom right hand corner, it's preparing download. It actually zips the file all together and then it's extracted on your computer. So it takes a little bit of time as it's zipping the file together. But anything you've uploaded, you can download it to your computer to work on it too. In this section, I want to talk about how to organize your Google Drive, all the different ways you can do this. Now, I've just started this uh, this example today, and you can see I'm starting to get pictures and documents in different places, and maybe you like to keep it clean. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to create a new folder. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click new folder, and I'm just going to call this one images like this and hit create. So I'm going to put my images inside this folder and how I like to do it is I just sometimes just drag like this. So I can just click and hold and drag it up and it gets moved into here. So if I click in here, open it, 
uh, you can see there's the image. I can click in all these different ones on the side. This folder was created over here. Uh, if I create it, I can create folders inside of folders too. So if I go uh, inside a different folder, I can create more. Let me give you an example. Let's say in this one, uh, I'm planning a trip and this is, I want this in my images. So this time I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to move to. So this allows me to move this to where I want. So I'm gonna actually click in images but I wanted to create another folder in here. So I'm gonna call this folder uh, trips. And I'm gonna hit this check mark like this, and I'm gonna put move here. Notice on the left-hand side now, I have images as my top folder there, and then trips went inside. So if I click on trips, now this is in, inside here. So it's up to you how you want to uh, keep things organized and how you drag different things in name. Now, if I go up to this uh, Google Drive demo here, I just wanted to point out you can uh, view things differently too. So I have these uh, this view on, uh, I'm gonna go up to right here, so list view. So if I click on list view, this is what list view looks like. So you could change um, how you want uh, to see inside. Uh, the other way is that grid view that I started with. So you can change that back and forth. And what I like to do when I, especially when I get a lot of different uh, files and everything in here, you can change the order. So if I hover over here, you can see this arrow here. If I reverse the sort direction, it will change. So if you know something towards toward the bottom, you could click it and it will come to the top. The other thing you could do is search by last uh, modified. So if I click on this, you can see last modified, last modified by me and last open. So it will change uh, how uh, the different sort is. Now I didn't have very much happen in this file yet, but I just want to make sure that you see that these options are because it can really help you find different things. So I'm just going to go back to uh, my drive here and you can see it's still in list view uh, here and I can still do my sorts from here, change my orders through here too, or if I want to change it back, just click on here. The other thing I wanted to point out is as you get more and more folders, what you can do is color them too. So if you right click on any of these folders like this, uh, you can see that uh, there is a change color. So if you want it, and I'll just change this to red, uh, if you want a folder to stand out, you can change it to a different color. Uh, in that other tips video that I mentioned before, I can even show you how you can put little images inside these too. So check that out. Out if you want to even do more uh, customization to your folders on it. So if I right click, then you can just again see change the colors. The other thing that uh, helps me with organization is the add to star. So again, I don't have a lot in here yet, but what I do is I'll uh, add to star. So if I click this and add this to star, you can see on the left here. So if I know a different file that uh, is important, I want easy access, I click on it, it will just uh, go to this one. So if you star it, then you can just click here and it will go through, uh, they just will show in here. So if I go back to this one, if I right click on this one, I can remove from star also on this. Uh, the other thing, if you're working on a file a lot, we have recent uh, and it will just kind of show your more recent ones. Next, I just wanna point out uh, in the settings, and I haven't talked about this yet, but the settings gear is right up top. And I'm just gonna to go to settings, and I want to show you uh, just where you can be uh, uh, having suggestions. So if you turn on, and this might be on by default for you, uh, I can't remember which way it starts, but show suggested files in my, uh, my drive. Google tries to help you out, uh, and you can change this, make priority my default home page on this so you can go through and set these so if i hit done um, and if i go here uh, you can see now there's these suggested ones across the top and google's just cut, trying to do this i think just how uh, recently how active i am in different ones and it puts their them up top so it gives you an easy access if you sit down to google drive they're saying hey do you want to work on this one so if you're neatly organized in your google drive you have your folders and files inside them uh, then you can easily find things uh, for me a lot of times i get messy with my google drive uh, and how i like to find things is is just using search and this is what Google's made for and what makes uh, it a powerful way to use your Google Drive. So as an example, and I know I don't have a lot of information in here yet, uh, if I was gonna look for an example, if I start typing in example, 
up here. Notice this is an example document. This is matching with this one right here because it pulled the word example out of the title. So I could go ahead and click on it and it would open up so I can search through it. I'm just going to go back to Google Drive. It can actually even search inside uh, of your of your of your document. So I'm going to type uh, just the word uh, Richards like this. And you might be wondering, well, uh, what am I looking for? And it did find a document here. So if I click on this one and open it up, notice that it searched inside of here. Here's the Richards that it found. So it can search inside your document. So maybe you don't remember what it was called, but you remember something you typed in it. It will search for that to help you find it. I'm just going to go back and take a look at the different ways though as you uh, i'll just delete this as you look in here uh, you could be looking if you knew you're looking for documents pdfs if i click on pdfs it will just pull out pdfs out of it uh, and it's become that's part of the search now i can exit this out uh, I can do advanced search here. So this is where you can even look, has the words in it, uh, location anywhere, is it in the trash, is it starred, who's the owner, what type is it? So if you can't find, because your Google Drive can get so many different files and folders in here, I would take advantage of the search. Even if you don't remember what the title is, uh, you can make sure uh, just by grabbing something maybe that you've typed out of it, search it and it will help you find it. Shortcuts are something you can add to any folder or file that allow kind of the file to live or folder in multiple places. It doesn't really create a copy, it just gives a shortcut to that. Uh, so if I was going to go to this PDF one right here and right click on it, notice that we have add shortcut to drive. So if I go ahead, add shortcut to drive, I'm just going to move down here. You can see that where do I want to have this shortcut? I'll go in here and I'm just going to click in images here and add shortcut. So what it did there was if I go to images, I, even though it looks like the file is here, it's really just a shortcut to a file. So this can help you stay organized. Uh, maybe you're putting all your different files together for a project, but the original file is living uh, somewhere else. And you can just put the shortcut to this so you can have it in multiple places. You can keep adding another shortcut. So if I go to this, click on it, it is opening up the original on it, but it's opening up through a shortcut. So take advantage of the shortcuts uh, to help you stay organized. Now, another thing what I like to do is how, that helps me stay kind of on top of things is turn my notifications on and they might be again on for you already. I'm gonna go back up to settings up here and go to here, settings, and just notice that there's notifications. And right now I have this set up for get all updates about Google Drive via email. You could actually just get the notification to pop up in your email. So you can just, see, or sorry, in your browser. So you can see you have to allow it. I'm gonna click allow. And is it newly shared items with you? Requests for access, comments, suggestions, and actions. So you can turn these all on. So when somebody is, if you're working in a group and people are sharing files and you wanna make sure you don't miss anything, if you didn't check your email and you run your Google Drive, you'll get a notification when you get that file shared with you. So take advantage of the settings and look at the different settings that you can uh, go through on this. I'm not going through them all today. Uh, in this tutorial. I just wanted to point out the priority space right here. And this is a great way to keep yourself organized. Now it shows you recent ones right at the top that you've been working on, but you can create your own space inside here. So if, uh, right here it says create your own personal workspace. So then I can go ahead and create this space. I can call it what I want. And so I'll just say to do and go ahead and create. Now I can add different files. So it's getting started. I'll just use this one as example, add selected, and I'll hit done. So now if I click on this one, if I go ahead, I can see that this isn't in here. So if I go and view workspace, I can add more files to this. So if there's other files that I need to add, if I go to this Word document here and insert, and hit done, now I've added this. So it's a great way to keep organized, especially if you're working on certain projects or to name uh, your workspace maybe by project and put your files in there uh, so it's easy to find in that priority spot.
In this section, I want to explain to you how sharing works in Google Drive, and that's going to be sharing a document, sharing a folder with an individual or even a group of people. Now, when I go to a document, and I'm just going to use this to loom PDF that I created earlier, I can share this. So maybe I want to share it with somebody thinking about taking vacation. I found it. I want to share this PDF with them. So if I click on this, and just like I mentioned before, up top, you get your remove, which I showed, but you also have your share. And you can right click on any of these and get to your share also. So if I share this, you can see that add people or group. So if I had the group, I could I could uh, call the uh, type the group in and it would be shared with everybody in that group. So I'm just going to go to a different email within the organization that I have uh, and it's giving me hints, add sharing restrictions, got it. So do I want them to be an editor, a viewer, commenter? So this is important. This is probably the most important part about the sharing is uh, what permission are you giving them? Is it somebody you're collaborating with and you want them actually to be an editor uh, or you just want them to view this or comment? On a PDF, they're not gonna uh, be changing the too much of that file anyway, but if it was a doc or Google Slides, uh, if you only want them to look at it, you could give them viewer and they're not gonna be able to change it. So even if you're sharing it with students or something and you don't want them to change it, you just want them to view it, uh, make sure you don't give them editor because this is where they're gonna change it. So you could set it to viewer uh, and it will show you viewers of this file can see comments and suggestions here. So make sure you know what you want to do. So you can hit send just like this and then it gets shared with it. So you're wondering, what does that look like? I'm just gonna change my window here. I'm just gonna refresh because this is the account I just um, I just shared it with and here it is right here in suggested and it also went with shared with me. So if I click on shared with me, here it is right here. So I can go ahead and open it up and see the PDF that just got shared with me. Now, the other thing, and I'll just make this window large again, you can share entire folders. So with this Google Drive demo here, I can right click on this and I can share just like this. And I'm gonna share it with the same person again. Now, the difference is, is now with a folder, it's gonna share everything in the folder and anything I put in the folder after. So uh, this is what I like to do if I know I, I, I share a folder originally with somebody and I can just keep adding things or anything I create in that folder is automatically gonna be shared with a person down the road. So I can go ahead and give them editor and hit send and that sends over. And again, I'm just gonna change my window and right here, it's already shared. So here's that Google Drive and here's the different documents inside here. Since I gave them editor, they can uh, d double click on these ones and start even editing in these ones here since I gave them the editor of it. So I'm just gonna go back here and I could share back to the person from it. So it's really easy to share back and forth, but remember it's uh, the, remember that it's important to know that uh, how you're sharing, what privileges are you giving them? How much do you want? Do you want them to just edit or view or do you want them to be editors? The other thing you can do with any file or folder is get a link and just maybe email it out to somebody so if I was going to go to this one and right click notice that there's get link now what I can do is I can copy this link right here so I could go copy and I could send it an email but these this makes a difference what is it only people added so if I drop down I can say anyone with the link so what that would mean is if I sent that link to somebody and chose that, they could send it to someone else. If they got that link, they would be able to open it too. This would just be within my organization that the link would work. So make sure again, how do you wanna share that information on it? So those are different ways you can share files and folders inside Google Drive. So right before I end this lesson on Google Drive today, I just wanted to point out an app you can install. I'm not gonna go through it all, uh, but it's the Google Drive desktop app. And what it does, and you can get the link in a few different places. Sometimes at the beginning, uh, it's at the bottom left, it's blue, it says download the app. You can also go to this gear, 
say uh, click this get drive for desktop and it's going to bring you over to this page and you can download it for windows or mac so what it does and i'm just going to move this out of the way i've installed it on my computer and i chose to install uh, shortcuts to google drive or sorry, google drive and google docs and sheets and in slides here and it creates a place on my computer so if i just open up uh, my uh, my windows here you can see I have a drive Google Drive here and anything that I put in here depending on my settings I can either stream it which means it will open and put it on my computer as I work on it or I can mirror it so it'll back up everything on my computer from Google Drive and that will just take up more space so I could be just working off my computer putting things into these files and then it's going to sync to Google Drive so that's something you might want to look uh, into I know at work a lot of times uh, the tech people will install it on the computers but you can go through and install it on your computer let me know if you want to see maybe a different video on how that works and I can make one uh, for that but I just wanted to point out this uh, desktop app for Google Drive so that's kind of the uh, the tutorial for today there's still a lot more uh, you can do with Google Drive and I have a few different videos I'm gonna link down below thanks for watching this week and teach on teachers tech I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.